So yesterday we talked, we, we introduced the idea of inequalities and how to graph them, how to write them from a graph, all that stuff. That was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We'll still use that today, but we're also going to add another element to it, which is solving inequalities. Solving inequalities is almost exactly like solving equations. Almost exactly. Almost is a big word, OK? So you have to stay focused. James, you got to stop. I'm sorry, I can't do it with you. You guys are not. Um, you, if you, you have to stay focused. Whenever you're solving an inequality problem, you have to stay very focused because there's one key difference. So first of all, we'll, we won't look at the differences, we'll look at the similarities. So if I gave you a simple equation like this, not equation, inequality. Um, if I gave you something like this, uh, 2x is less than 12. If it, if it had said 2x is equal to 12, what would you do? Um, divide by 2. Divide by 2. You do the same thing. You divide by 2, divide both sides by 2, and that gives me x is less than 6. And then I have to graph it. Then I have to graph it. Here's 6, here's 0, x is less than 6, there we go. Right? It's pretty easy. Okay, that was really easy. Here's another one. This is really easy as well. If I gave you um, uh, 2x plus 4 is less than 10, what would I do? I would subtract 4, right? I want my x is just, it's just like an equation, right? So now I have 2x is less than 6, right? And then I would divide by 2 x is less than 3. And again, I want to see your work. I don't want to see just an answer. No. Ah. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. No, no I want to see your work. Very important. Boo. Boo. Right. Now, we don't like your game. what if I gave you, let's see, anything else? What if I did, okay, let's do this. Um, let, me, let me just start over. So 1, 2, 3. What if I gave you, gave you this? Um, 2 times 4x uh, plus uh, 6 e uh, is less than or equal to, I don't know, 3 times 2x uh, minus um, 17. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay. Well, so, anyways. Gary, is this going to, or probably this going to be on the homework? Yes. Or are we going to stick to one step right now? Oh, we're not sticking to one step at all. Because you know how to do one step, two step, multi step. You know how to do all of this. And you, you will be doing them on homework, on the homework, all of them with this. Okay? There will be fractions as well with inequalities, right? So, you just have to practice them. But, um, <laughs> so, if I use my distributive property, right, I would then get uh, 8x plus 12 is less than or equal to 6x minus 6, right? All right, and then what would I do? Yes. You need to subtract 6x. Subtract 6x, right? I can't ever solve anything when the x's are on both sides of, this, of the inequality, right? So I've got to subtract 6. Subtract 6. That gives me 2x plus 12 is less than or equal to negative 6. Right? Mm -hmm. What do I do now? U minus minus 12. Minus 12. Minus 12. So I have 2x is less than or equal to negative 18. Now what do I do? Divide. Divide by 2. x is less than or equal to negative 9. Great. Now we have to graph it. Here's negative 9, here's 0, it's less than or equal to, it's solid, and it goes less than. Get that out of it. James, are you writing this down? Yeah, I can work. You sure? I'm listening. Oh yeah, no, 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 all the tests. Right, no, oh, yeah. All of it. Did you not do any of the problems I put on the board? Yeah? 
Oh, you got to write the stuff down. I'm rolling again. Look at the sentence. Okay. So, um, all right. So, that not so hard, right? No. Not so hard. You do the same thing. The only difference is instead of having an equal sign, you have a less than or equal to or a greater than or a less than or a... They're not really hard. They just kind of take a while to do. They might, but they don't take any longer than an equation, yeah. solving an equation, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there, I said it is almost identical to solving oh, an equation, yeah. right? Almost. So now we're going to figure out what the almost means, right? Why is it not identical? That's going to be product. If I gave you... As opposed to just writing... Are you writing that down still? Instead of x equals negative 9, it's x is less than or equal to... Well, no, wait, wait. What, what, if I, what if I gave you something like this? Um, 4 minus 2x is equal to 12. What would I do? Subtract um, 4. Subtract 4. Right? Right? Subtract 4. Uh, that gives me negative 2x is equal to what? Um, 8. 8. Now what would I do? Okay. Divide by 2. Divide by negative 2. Wait a minute. I didn't mean equal. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Good sorry, yeah, sorry. Like we'll make it less than or equal to. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, so less than or equal to. Okay, now what would I do? Divide by negative two. Divide by negative two, right? Mm -hmm. Divide by negative two. So what would I get? X is equal to negative four. X what? X equals negative four. X or less than or equal to negative four. four. Almost. Mm -hmm. X what? Less than or equal to. Less, less than, than or equal. equal. Wait, what? Less than. Uh, less than. Greater than or equal to. Greater than, less than, or equal to. Greater than, less than, or equal to negative four. So, so, so let, let's look at this for a second, okay? <laughs> let's look at this for a second. Okay? Alright, guys, you can't sit on the chairs like that. I'm sorry. It's not allowed. Yeah. So, you know, it's. No, it's In this case, I divided, right? I divided by a negative number. Do you agree with me? Both yeah. sides by a negative number. That's the key. If I divide or multiply both sides by a negative number in my attempt to solve for x, then the inequality sign has to flip. What? Switch. It has to flip. Okay? Wow. So, and I'm going to just show you why. I, without multiplying or dividing, I could solve this. How would I do that? I could just move this over here and move this over there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Couldn't I? So I could, so I could add two x to both sides. Add two x to both sides. That gives me zero is less than or equal to eight plus two x. I could subtract eight. Subtract eight. That gives me negative eight is less than or equal to two x. I could divide by two. And then I got x is like that, and then negative 4, right? That takes more work. Yeah. Right? That takes a lot more work, right? A lot more work. And I don't like to do that. And but what is Now, how would I write this with the x first? Because uh, that's, not, that's not clear, right? Negative negative 4. You would have to say x. And notice the big mouth is facing the x, right? So I have to have the big mouth facing the x, negative 4. x is greater than negative 4. Ah. See this? Oh. This is x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So in order for this to work, using the shortcut, I have to flip it, flip that inequality sign whenever I multiply both sides by a negative number or whenever I divide both sides by a negative number. Does that make sense? Yeah. See that? So that's the key. And it's so easy to forget. So easy to forget. So when you realize you're dealing with an inequality, you always have to ask yourself, okay, am I adding, I mean, am I dividing or multiplying by a negative number to solve for x? You've got to keep that in mind because it, it's, uh, it's easy to mess up. All right, so what if I gave you something like this? Five, right? What if I gave you x over negative eight is equal to 10? Well, it's, uh, not it's equal. equal. God, I'm so used to equal. All right, I'll do greater than. Is greater than ten. So what? How would you solve that? Is that in the video? Yeah. What would you do? How do you get rid of precept? How would you get rid of fractions? 
What's the trick I told you? When there are fractions in an equation, what's that trick that I taught you? It was on the homework last night. You have to multiply everything by the denominator, right? So I don't like the fraction. I want to get rid of the fraction, right? So immediately I see the denominator is negative 8. So I'm going to multiply this times negative 8, and I'm going to multiply this times negative 8, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what am I doing? You're multiplying everything by a negative no, number. A you negative know. number. I'm so multiplying you have to flip everything. everything. So I have to flip this flip. inequality sign. Mm -hmm. So the flip negative 8s cross out. That gives me x, but no longer is greater than. x is now less than. Less this than has to flip. Negative 80. Right? Negative 80, right? Oh, and yeah. then I graph it. Here's 0. Negative 80 is on the left of 0, right? And it's less than, so it's an open circle. And it's less than. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. You guys with me? Is that making yeah. sense? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, Can we start our homework? Eventually, yeah. What was the homework? <laughs> Is there any more to it? Uh, no, it's just practicing them as they get harder. Right? Well, that seems pretty simple. Do you have the homework now, Gary? No, just homework. Wait, what if you do like oh, five simple. single understand oh, right. it if we all it understand is, it? It is homework? pretty simple. It is. So let me give you another example. We've already learned this math. It's just with equal or greater than and stuff. Right. Inequality. No, no, no. How about I give you? It's similar, I should say. It's not the same. It's similar. It's a similar oh, way of that's solving it. Oh no, this is just going to be more. Oh, Gary. Oh, yeah, we know this. You one. taught us how to do this, too. You all right. So. Um, no. All right, so, James, what would I do? You multiply that by 10, right? Why would I multiply that by 10? Oh, turn it into a regular number. Oh, yeah, because it's, so, it's, it's just, I mean, I could just multiply, divide both sides by point, negative point 4, right? Nobody, Nobody wants to do that. But, but, you know, it's just. We're not used to it, so it's easier to just not have decimals. But that means that you have to so multiply everything by 10. I have to multiply both sides by 10. So you would multiply and, but notice, this is already being busy multiplying by this. So all I have to do is multiply this and, by and exactly. this, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm multiplying this whole thing by 10, right? The whole thing by 10. So that gives me now negative, negative 4, right? times x minus 2 is less than or equal to 160. You agree with me? Yeah. Yeah, but you, but you have to flip it. Wait, but yeah, I didn't yeah, multiply. I multiplied everything by a positive 10. Okay. See what I mean? Now, I have, I could do my distributive property if I want. Or what else could I do? Oh, oh right. Yeah. You what? could divide both sides by four. I could get rid of this 4 right away because I know 4 goes into 160. But you have to flip the sign. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. Both sides by negative 4. That gives me, I don't even need my, ex, my parentheses anymore, do I? Nope. Because no. it's just x no, minus 2, because no. those cross out, right? Yeah. And then x minus 2 is, is now oh, yeah. it's greater it's than it's or equal to, because I divided by a negative, and then that is, what is 40? Yeah. Negative 40? So now you can do the plus 2. Plus 2, plus 2. So x is greater than or equal to what? 38, negative 38? Yes. So how would I graph it? Oh, yeah. Uh, you would put, you would, you put negative 33. 38 on the 38, left. 38, yeah. And right then here? zero. Yeah. Yeah, because you fill it in with a black dot, and then you'd make it go to the right. You got it. Exactly. Got em. You got it. Excellent. Got okay. Well done. OK, that's six. Homework? And, um, oh, homework? Homework? Yeah, like you guys are spoiled. I'm telling you. This is the only no, class where you don't want to die for it. Right. I know it doesn't right. finish in like two seconds. Yeah. yeah. If we yeah. understand yeah. it, we can just be like, like done. Okay. Yeah, Gary. The current data is 11, yeah. zero, 7, What? Gary. Negative one third times. Let me see, where was I? This one. Times x minus um, 6 is greater than negative 1, 6 times x um, plus 2. I know. All right.
games, what would I do? You do the three on the first one, right? Or what? You multiply everything by six. Oh. So when they have oh, fractions, yeah. right, and you yeah, want to get rid of the fractions, you want to use, oh. what is the technical score? You're really looking for the lowest common denominator of the two fractions, right? Oh. Right? The lowest common denominator is six, right? Yeah. Right? Because yeah. three goes into six and six goes into six. Yeah. So if I multiply everything by six, but notice I have this negative here. Yeah. If I multiply everything by negative 6 right away, I wouldn't then have to distribute a negative into this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by negative 6. Well, actually, I think it's going to be easier to just do it like this. So this is negative 1 third, and this is going to be negative 6. And this is negative 6, right? So, you would get so now two. 3 two. goes out so into that once. Five. We get that negative 2 no, times. No so that gives me... Negative two. X. Oh, oh, not yeah, negative. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Negatives. The negatives oh, yeah. crossed out, right? So it's just two. So it's just two. Yeah. So two times x minus six. Now what do I do here? You flip it. I have to flip it because I multiply by a negative six, and then the neg the that becomes negative negative is positive. So what? So that's just one times that, which is just that, what? right? Yeah. So x. Plus plus two. So now what do I do? Um, distribute it properly. Distribute it, right? So 2x minus 12 is less than x plus 2. What do I do now? Um, you minus 12. You would subtract x from each side. Right? Yeah. First thing is if you, if you see x's on both sides, you want to get them on the same, right? Subtract x, subtract x. So now it's 2 minus 12. So wait a minute, I've got no, x, x minus, minus 12. 12. Well, yeah, x minus 12. Is less than, oh, less than plus 2. Plus 2. Is less than oh, two. What did I have to say? No, plus, plus 12. 12. Then you'd you add 12. 12, Gary. Plus 12. So you get x is less than 14. Yeah. That makes sense. Everyone well, oh, wait a minute. But here I subtracted on both sides. Shouldn't I flip the, flip this side? No, no, because it's not negative. It's. Well, yeah. Well, okay. It's, it's, it's not multiplication or division. It's not multiplication or division. It's totally fine to subtract from both sides without flipping the inequality. It's just when you add, I mean when you, excuse me, when you multiply or when you divide by a negative number. Is that clear as mud? Yep. Fist to five? Clear as mud. Gary, mud is not clear. Fist of ten. Twenty-five. Fist to five, fist to five, fist to five, fist to five. No, it's not clear as mud. Fist to five. Yeah, good job, awesome. So fist to five, use fist to five, like five means they totally understand it. Fist means they don't understand it at all. And it just gives me a feedback sort of to see if I need to Gary, that's a one or a five. That what is, about this? <laughs> that's a Star Trek Spock. What, yeah. what is this? Um, okay, so um, that's a, I have no idea. I think that's all I need to do. So I'm going to give you a So we're going to end the lecture and we're done.